<clears throat> YouTube, what he do? It's your boy S14 or Stuff on the Don TV. I, I just call myself S14 because that's my old gamer tag, but we just gotta keep it Stuff on the Don. And first off, how y'all doing? It's Sunday. I'm on my way to the gym. Um, I'm tired, but. You know, I got to train. I got to get this workout in. Got a show in a couple days. So, you know, I got to make sure I'm good. Uh, let's how, how are we going to start this one, man? So, I, I got like a, a DM from the dude. And shout out to the dude who sent me a DM about this. He told me, and it's kind of crazy too, because it's like, dang, he didn't just, you know college just start for a lot of you guys and like already getting involved with these females man it's kind of crazy but let me just start off um this guy he was talking to this chick and i guess they knew each other before right and you know like like most people do when they talk they Tell them each other, you know, what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it down. Yeah, you can get that. I ain't, I ain't in a rush. They, they tell each other what it is. You know, uh, she's she's feeling him. Um, she likes him. She keeps it real. She's always like, oh, you always supportive. You always there for me. Thank you. I really appreciate you. And. I'm pretty sure he knows this, but he's falling for it, right? He's He told me this girl's a total package, real cute girl. Um, you know, just just like, you know, I guess a feminine dime, you know, to him. And how it goes is he wanted a relationship, you know, he's... He, he wanted that, and then slowly she pulls back. And he knows all this stuff. He knows. He knows all this stuff. I, he's got to know all this stuff if he's asking me. If he if he knows it from Steph, AMS, my guy FitX, Austin. Um, if he knows all this, he he must he must know all this crap, right? I'm sorry, guys, because it's like I'm thinking of something else. So, and then now when they talk out of nowhere she's dealing with another dude and she's telling him you know me and this guy we're only talking you know we ain't have uh intercourse yet how these females are and now he's like why would you tell me this that and the third meanwhile you're telling me you're dealing with another dude you know why would you tell me this like you know we hung out and they, they knew each other, but, you know, I guess they started getting closer when, I guess, college came about. And now he's in his feelings about it because he feels dumb. And he asks me, you know, Stefan, what can I do to, like, get her back? Cause, because I feel stupid. I feel dumb for taking this girl seriously, even though, like, I know she plays games. And I'm gonna tell you guys like this. Well, to him personally, and I'm gonna tell you guys, all you guys this: you cannot get her like that, right? Because number one, and I'm gonna tell you the key is you're emotionally invested into this person, right? You as the man, you're invested into this guy. I mean, this girl. I'm sorry. And there's nothing you can do about it, right? She plays games. And there's nothing you can do, right? And this is why I tell guys in the video, don't take women seriously, is because when, like I always say, women say one thing, but their actions do another. And guys gotta really keep that in mind. Gotta gotta keep that in mind. You can like the girl, you can talk to her here and there after you're done with college. I'm going to tell guys like this. You in high school or college, I don't know what is he. He could be a senior or he could be a college kid or whatever. 
it seemed like to me he he's a college kid. He could be a senior, but man, hit them books, bro. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Hit them books. Keep your mind on the books. You could dig out chicks here and there. You can have a little bit of fun, but make sure them books is first, bro. Always remember that. Anyway, back to the story. The reason why you want to get her back and make her regret that she even played you. And what's crazy, too, is um, Fit X, he had, like, a story of, I guess, a guy going through the similar things. But... And here, and here's what it is. You're invested into this. You're emotionally invested into this woman. You cannot do anything about it. She got you, bro. She got you because she got you in the inside. She got you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can you can do the self improvement and all this other crap. You can start working out. You can um, finally um, digest the red pill and all this other crap, or the RP, let's just call it. She don't care. She do not care. She got you. She got you wrapped where she wants you. And the the best thing for you to do is let this one go. Don't take this one seriously. To you, my dude, you can keep her in your social media. You can keep her number, but most likely in... With a lot of chicks, when they play games on you, they gonna still try to toy with you because why they perceived you as this weak emotional dude. Point blank period. You're just a weak emotional dude, she can just get any time. You can sit, you can let her go, you can come back, she you can allow her to come back into your life, and then you can question her, hey, why did why didn't we work like this? Well, why did you didn't take me seriously why'd you go to this dude she's gonna tell you a whole bunch of bs answers and you're just gonna get you're just gonna be just talking circles around this girl and it's nothing you can do about that right nothing nothing at all now you she want to come back and submit to you fine but you're wasting your time this is why i tell guys don't take these females seriously and you should always have options and always stick to your purpose, man. Point blank period. Don't ever take what she tells you when you hanging out with her or you know you in her Snapchat or whatever, Viva Text, whatever. Don't take it seriously because you're gonna get disappointed at the end. Like I say it and Steph is Cole say it. High expectations are going to lead to high frustrations. That's it. There's nothing you can do. That's why I tell guys. I said this in last year's in one of my videos last year's video. Um, you know, don't self improve. Don't just like all of a sudden improve because some girl played you and now you want her back because she missed out on a good thing. Like I tell you guys, man. Women don't realize a good thing until it hits them, hits them, hits them all the time, right? Until they get older, that face get old, body get out of shape, stomach gonna be a little bit hanging over. Same way with guys when you don't you don't know until that one girl you really like just disrespect you and it's like dang man it, uh, two times is enough not like this I shouldn't be getting disappointed like this I gotta do I, I gotta change my mindset of thinking the aware your awareness wasn't up there because you were in love with the looks and then you and then with the the bull crap that was coming out of her mouth you you had you had no foresight you had no foresight with this chick at all you had none whatsoever that's why you fell for the game even if you did know even if you did know you had no foresight because why you put 
her looks, this girl's beautiful face, nice body, over your awareness. And guys, don't do those type of things. Yeah, you deal with a, a beautiful girl, but always stay firm. Not take it too seriously, but enjoy your life. Guys, if you're talking to one chick, you should be having two or three other ones around you. So if one girl, you're like, okay, ah, you, you, you playing to me again? Ah, I got these other two joints. Who respect me more? She with that pullback? Ah, I got to pull back. That's it. That's it. That's that. That's it. There's nothing you can do, guys. We try to get the ball back in their court. Most likely, you it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work because how w- women are nowadays, especially too, what they listen to these YouTube channels and these podcasts and what they what they think they gonna get out of the world. They they gonna they're not gonna care. They're not gonna care about your feelings. No woman cares about your feelings, period. She just saw you and put you in line like the rest of them. And and this is why, honestly, I'm going to end it like this. Okay, she with that BS, I'm just going to block and don't ever speak to her again. We good. They say it's cruel and, you know, you kind of you kind of feminine because, or you, you kind of in your feelings because you block them, but... When you block them from everything, you you actually the smoke clears, the smoke clears with all that. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. To me, that's what blocking works for me. You don't deal with them, and you focus on you, and you learn from your mistakes. This is just a mistake that you, as a young man, going through. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys like this: the more women you gonna deal with, the more they gonna hurt you. Or lie to you until one that really comes into your life and respects you. That's just it. This ain't going to be the first. This ain't, it ain't going to be the last. Nothing you can do about it, my guy. So this this chick right here, don't even take her seriously. She a three or four. You can keep her around, but you, you can try to get her back. But why would you? Because she's getting dug out by the other guy she told you about. Point Blake period, my guy. That's the end of this video. Don't take it seriously. Stop stop being in your emotions about one woman, bro. That's it. I'm out.